Hello, all heroes, and welcome back to Invincible Guarding the Globe. Today, well, you're going to talk about probably the foundation of all the mechanics in this game. How to actually get these daggum heroes. How to actually fill out your collection, get the copies you need to get them upgraded. We talked about that in the previous video where you are going to need copies. So many copies. How do you get those? Well, you're going to go to the shop. You are going to go to the shop and you're going to see some things here. Already, you're going to see five heroes right in front of you. Some green, some blues, all that jazz. What is this? This is basically, it's not a banner per se, because this isn't really a gotcha game in the same sense. But for simplicity's sake, we're going to say this is the gotcha portion of the game where you summon characters. Here's the interesting thing with this game. You can see five characters right here. If you choose to recruit one of these characters right now, you will get one of these five randomly. It's going to do a little animation, and then it will pick one for you. It is not guaranteed that you will get the most valuable character on here. It's just going to be basically 20% chance per thing. Now, let's say that I don't like any of these characters. What do you do? What do you do if you don't like any of these characters? You'd rather summon on something else? Well, that's what the refreshes are for. Every single day, you get three free refreshes. So what we're going to do, I don't want any of these guys. They're all a bunch of commons and rares. I don't want them. I want some good stuff. So we're going to refresh and see what we get. Nothing crazy. We got the duplicate. We got some Rexplodes and Marshman. No, nothing crazy. Nothing I want to spend my hard-earned resources on. So we're going to refresh again. Nothing again. Absolute dud. And then one more refresh. Nothing. All blues. At this point, you can still refresh. However, it will require your gems. Gems are items that you get. You can either pay for them, or you do get them in pretty good numbers from doing your missions, doing the campaign, all that jazz. Now, the jury is out on whether or not it is useful to do a refresh using gems, or if you should just stick to the freebies. Because something else to keep in mind, every hour it will do an automatic refresh. If an hour has gone by, the next time you log in, this will refresh automatically for free. Now, hopefully you didn't have a character you wanted prior to the reset and you were waiting to get resources, because you're crap out of luck if, you, if that was the case. It will change to five totally different heroes. If you don't want to wait that long, you can use gems. I was fast and furious using gems when I first started playing about five days ago. And admittedly, it served me well. I think in the early game especially, it, that's a pretty good way to get some of the best heroes in the game quickly. That advice will age poorly. You want to know why? Because as of the nature of these games, they will add more characters. Right now, the elites, they only have 14 elites in the game. That means when you pull an elite, the percentage of what character you're going to get is going to be 1 out of 14. You have a 1 out of 14 chance to get Invincible. You have a 1 out of 14 chance to get Adam Eve. Not too bad, actually. Honestly, those rates, not the worst in the world. Give it a few years, and there might be freaking 50 characters. Then you're getting into issues, and at that point, the refresh will not help you. Hopefully, they'll have like a wishlist feature by then. But at that point, eh, then refresh is not going to be great. For the sake of example, though, I am going to do some refreshes until we get to a decent character. Okay, we got the Mahler twin here. Normally, I wouldn't summon on him because he's meh, he's aight, but I don't, have a, I don't have him in my collection at all, and I don't want to burn gems on doing refreshes, so this is a fantastic point for an example. We have one elite, two rares, a common, and another rare here. Now, there's one of two ways you can do this. You could do the recruit all feature, or you can recruit one hero at a time. There are items for both of these. For recruiting one hero, you get these little blue items. I, I really don't like how it automatically takes me to the store, but that's fine. Um, you know what? I bet inventory would probably be a better place to show that. Yeah, here we are. Hero dossier. This lets you summon one hero. There are also items that let you summon all of them. If we go to... There's no way that's right. Yeah, I was about to say, I've already done all those, I'm pretty sure. 
there are very limited events that you can use. Like, okay, yeah, here's one. Log on 10 different days. We'll give you a gold hero dossier. This will let you summon all of them at once. Alternatively, you can use gems. I would highly recommend against using gems for any recruiting unless you are truly desperate. Because, first of all, these dossiers are actually pretty plentiful. And it's an abhorrent amount of gems. Even 20% off. It takes 800 gems to summon all these characters. Not worth it. Not even close. My advice? Never use gems to summon characters unless you are truly desperate. But, I fortunately have hero dossiers. You'll notice I've got seven. That means if I get the worst luck possible, I can summon all five of these characters using just the one at a time dossiers. And I will get the Mauler twin eventually. Might be a little painful, but hey, as we talked about when I was talking about upgrading characters, you will need these guys. So, you know, even a blue is not useless. Even a green is not useless. We'll talk about why in a second. So, let's get into this here. Let's do some summoning and see what we get. Do we get, okay, we got him. I forget his name. So now you'll notice we have four. We already acquired um, Kursk. That's his name. We already acquired Kursk here. So now we have basically a 25% chance to get the Mauler Twin. Let's hit it again. See what we got. We got Martian Man. I do. To be fair, I do need Martian Man to get copies to upgrade Omni-Man. So that is actually fine. Let's hit it again. And there he is. There's the man himself. It'll show you a nice little picture of him when it's the first time you get him. Um, otherwise, it'll kind of show you what it did before where you just kind of get the little headshot of him. So, I no longer need to do any summoning. If I wanted to summon on these two, like let's say the Mauler Twin was the last one I got, so I got all five, it would then automatically refresh immediately. So, you know, if you're just doing a mass summoning but you don't want to spend the gems to refresh that is a thing you can do wouldn't really recommend it but that's okay and it's going to stay like this until i refresh or for the next 51 minutes at which point this will reset again now there are two more shops to keep in mind first is the equipment shop this shop is interesting because you can get gear you can get um artifact xp and you can get hero special xp it charges one of two currencies. You can either use the little gold, basically cash items, or you can use gems. Never use gems in this shop, period. If you use gems in this shop, Omni-Man will come to your house and put Lowe's red paint on you, period. Never use gems. Only use the monies if you have them available. And even then, I would be pretty sparing until you're later in the game because you will need them for upgrading your characters. Now, let's say you really want this elite chestware. You want it. You've got an attacker that would be perfect for. But you, of course, should not spend the 59 gems. Because, like I said, Omni-Man will come to your house. That's okay. Because there are items that you can sometimes get that circumvent that for you. I'm, I'm trying to... Oh, no. I'm trying to find an example here. Ah, here we are. Oh, and it's not going to let me click on it. That sucks. Okay. Basically, it's this orange little item here. Very teeny there. But if you get a copy of that, it will let you buy everything in the shop without needing to spend the gold or spend the gems. And then it'll refresh. Very similar to the recruitment page here. This has three free refreshes. So if you hit it, it'll bring up this stuff. You're not going to get a lot of action in this one, except for probably the hero special XP. Um, that's not too bad because that is the gatekeeper for a lot of upgrading. Um, finally, we have the lab. Now, the lab is interesting because it's almost like recruitment mini with items mixed in. And it has its own currency. Um, I don't, I don't really know what it's called, but basically you get these little DNA tokens from summoning common characters. If you have this checked, you will automatically retire the new common heroes because common heroes have no purpose in the game. They are literally meant to be fodder for this shop. Every common hero will get you 50 of the coins. When you get to 350, you can um, click on it and it will randomly select one of these items. Or if you get enough for all six, you just get all six at once. 
This is random. I cannot emphasize that enough. It is random. You'll notice Adam Eve is in this shop among other characters. I would love to get Adam Eve from here. We also have artifact parts, which is used to actually craft artifacts basically. And there's other stuff in this shop as well. If I hit this, I basically have a one in six chance of getting Adam Eve. Under normal circumstances, I would wait until I get the purchase all items thing and then just get everything because, or, or, or rather do it one at a time until I either get her or until I've gotten everything. But for the sake of example, we're going to actually hit the button here. Let's see what we got. We got some artifact parts. I don't know how many of those I need to actually get the spy drone, but you'll notice we're crap out of luck as far as Adam Eve goes, unless I summoned like five more common characters and took another crack at it to get Adam Eve. We're going to lose that the next time there's a refresh. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. Finally, the fi as if that wasn't enough, there is one more factor to keep in mind. You'll notice each of these shops have something called a shop level. I'm currently at shop level two on my recruitment, shop level two on my equipment, and shop level one on the lab. The higher the shop level, the better the stuff you have a chance of getting. For example, every time you summon a character in the recruitment page, you get shop level progress, basically. The higher your shop level, the more likely you are to get elite characters. Starting out, it's not too bad, actually. I mean, as you can see, I did only one extra refresh and I got a Mauler Twin. But if you want to start getting dupes and even triples, if you like getting like two characters once, three characters once, even some crazy stuff that you want to screenshot and put on Reddit to brag, brag to people, then you're going to want to get your shop level up. So basically, you spend your resources to get characters in order to get in order to spend your resources on better characters later on down the line. You don't want to be too aggressive, though. You don't want to do it just for shop level. Like, I'm not going to summon Isotope and upgraded Reanimen just to get the shop level. Because you don't really need to. That's just kind of something that powers up as you play the game. Like I've said, patience is a virtue in this game. It will happen as it happens. And I don't know, I don't know what the max shop level is. And unfortunately, I don't know the odds. I would love to know what the odds are. But basically, as always... Slow and steady wins the race on this bad boy. As you play, this will go up and you'll get even more heroes. In this case, basically shop level is for higher amounts of the XP and the chips and then better in the, the higher chance of better gear. And then in the lab, it's probably going to be a higher chance of elites, maybe more um, higher quantities of artifact rewards. I don't know. This one's a little more this one's a little more vague in how it works. But I think we could safely assume that at the very least you would get more elite chances. So that's how summoning works. Of course, as far as the actual items go, you get them from a lot of places. You can get them from doing your campaign missions. You can get them from your dailies. In fact, if you do your dailies, you actually get a guaranteed one right here at the end. Um, as long as you get to 100 points every single day. And so on and so on. There will always be opportunities. Um, there were, I mean, like right here, recruit 25 heroes from faction criminal organization. I claim that that gets me one right there. Just, just for summoning. So basically I got a refund of one of my summons. W this will get very interesting in the future when there's a lot more characters. There's not like a wish list feature because frankly, there's not enough characters in the game to justify a wish list feature, but I'm hoping that in the future there will be because that would get pretty wild if we get up to like 50 elite characters and you've got to just hope and pray that the refresh works in your favor because when there's that many, spending gems to refresh will not be practical in the slightest. Additionally, I would recommend against doing any kind of crazy summoning unless you have five of these tickets. Reason for that is I only use three. That's not too bad. I could have used five. I could have had to use five to get the Mauler Twin here. If it is going to royally break your heart to miss out on a character, like let's say you've only got one, you've only got one hero dossier in a dream and you're trying to get Omni-Man, maybe save yourself the pain and just save, get up to five dossiers, Omni-Man will come back. Like I said, it, sooner or later, 
he will roll in your refreshes. And then you can get him with the security that you won't be heartbroken when it um, automatically refreshes in an hour. That's just that's just my little tip of wisdom there. And then again, I mean, it's a game. Play it how you want. If you just if you're just YOLO summoning or you won't lose anyway, go for it. Hey, you might get lucky. But that's just some advice from me for the long term. So that is all we have for today. In the future, I think we're going to be going over individual characters, talking about who's probably the best to summon and all that stuff, because every game has a meta. Some characters are better than others, and we will talk about all of that. So we will see you next time. Have a good one.